Hi everybody, welcome back to the Cody America uh, YouTube channel, Stream King. Uh, today I just wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, a new application that um, everybody that's been following me so far has knows that uh, Morpheus TV is one of the has been around for a long time, and um, but it's been discontinued. So. I recommend installing the newest, uh, latest application that takes its place, and that's Morph TV. Uh, Morph TV is a, almost an exact copy, except that it certainly uh, works a lot better because Morpheus being uh, being discontinued, a lot of the sources that you're used to to seeing uh, are not there anymore. They're they're um, obviously if you don't keep up with the sources, they they tend to. Uh, Disappear because they change the sources change all the time. So uh, if, if the uh, developer is not keeping up with the sources and making sure that they're updated within their application Then obviously the experience degrades for you over time So let's get started. Uh, what I want to do is uh, go ahead and, and get you guys uh, To open up the file linked uh, Application this is the Cody America jailbreak app ball if you don't have this installed already, it's very simple to install. You can follow uh, my article. I will put a link in the description below. And um, if you like my videos, uh, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I don't have a ton of videos yet. Uh, I'm really working hard. I do this all by myself. So um, I'm working hard to get you guys more videos. And let me know if you guys want to want to see some particular applications or if you just want to know something about uh about your Fire Stick or some other applications. I'm happy to cover anything that you'd like. So once you uh, go into the file link program, you'll see that there's only a, one thing you can do here, and that's uh, to enter the code. There's my code, 47356537. Uh, it just click continue, and you'll see that um, a little pop-up comes up. This tells you to please uh, take advantage of this great offer on uh, IPVanish VPN service. I've negotiated this this deal for everybody, and in this application uh, that I'm going to show you today, it's very important uh, to consider getting a, a VPN, a high quality VPN. Uh, if you don't have one, please uh, support my channel by by going into subscribing. It doesn't cost that much. I don't make a ton uh, from it, but I, I think it's important for me to offer this to you guys so you can have um, uh, so you can do these do this safely. Anyway, the top of the screen, you'll see there's Morph TV right there. And if you'll notice, uh, in, the, in the Cody America Jailbreak App Store, there's oh, this camera. Uh, I got a new camera, and it doesn't want to really stay focused. Uh, so uh, if you notice, I, I, I curate these apps myself. Feel free to, to play with any of them. All of these in here are um, apps that I put here that I've written articles about in the past. Uh, in this case, let's go ahead and see, you'll see on the right there, you'll see a little down uh, arrow that means download. So let's click on download so we can go ahead and install Morph TV. Go ahead and download Morph TV. It's not a very big application. Uh, it shouldn't take long to, to download even off over my very slow internet connection that I have here in uh, the barrios of uh, Colombia is where I live. So bear with me. One of the important things that I, since my internet here is relatively slow, uh, it, I can really tell that if an application is great and uh, uh, streams well or not, because if I can watch movies and TV shows on my slow connection, uh, which is five megs, and that's, uh, that's being generous. Um, at times it's very slow, but I seem to, I seem to uh, be able to uh, stream pretty pretty reliably over over five megs when it's when it's good and solid so we're almost done with the download and you'll notice when it downloads it changes to a play icon so you just click on the play icon at this point it's just like any other um, application you're going to install it you obviously need to make sure that unknown sources is enabled uh, you can go to the settings uh, I can flip through that for you real quick, but if you've already installed the uh, the Cody America uh, app vault, then you will have already done that. That's part of that, and you can leave that on. 
So you don't have to worry about that the next time you do installations of other applications. Now you'll see the apps installed. In this case, we're just going to back on out. Uh, it's going to ask you to back out, ask you if you want to, are you sure? At this point, you're back to your home screen. So there's really, uh, you don't see your application that you install. So long press the home button and your apps, uh, you'll get this little screen that pops up. And so click on apps and you'll see right down here, Morpheus or Morph TV. I'm so used to saying Morpheus. Sorry if I, if I slip up on that. I'm, uh, Morpheus has been around for a long time. But anyway, so if you want to move that to the top of your list, go ahead and long press it. You'll see it says select to drop or out of where you want it. So, so move up to where you want it and drop it. If you don't want to put it there, I put it here. Uh, I'm a big YouTube uh, watcher, so I keep my YouTube app first. Uh, it's Streamio, Mobdro, uh, Morph will go right here. So that's uh, simple enough. Now if you go back to your home screen, you'll see that under your apps and channels, Morph is the second one, uh, just as we did, just like we uh, arranged it to be. So let's go ahead and click on it. I'll show you some things about Morph that um, if you're already familiar with Morpheus, you'll see that it's almost exactly the same. The background's a little different. You have your movies and TV shows. Downloads, if you're running Morph on an Android device or some other device that has more memory that you could download, this would be applicable, but on a Fire Stick, downloads is really not applicable. And then there's settings. Now let's go in and change a couple of settings because there are a couple of settings that I automatically change by default. Uh, to get the best experience out of this uh, app. Let this thing uh, <laughs> try to focus a little bit. It's not doing a great job. There we go. So um, the first setting that I want to go ahead and change for you is torrents. Now, if for those of you that aren't familiar with, with torrents, torrents, is, or it's called BitTorrent technically, technically it's, it's just a, it's a um, technology that's used for people to share files. Uh, so one file might have hundreds of people sharing it. So you get the advantage of, of being able to uh, get really good bandwidth, one really good throughput. If you have a really good internet connection, it allows you to really use that internet connection to its max. The downside to using torrents or BitTorrents is that uh, they can, when you're using that technology, since you become a sharer as well of the of the file, when you start downloading the little pieces of the file to stream it, you're also sharing that out. Those pieces that you uh, that you have, you're sharing that out as well to other people. So everybody kind of big, it's a big cloud of sharing this file. Now this inherently exposes your IP address. Uh, to the public basically because people need to be able to find uh, that you're sharing and be able to take advantage of it. Uh, I not only strongly recommend using a VPN for this, this is not a joke. Uh, we, in the streaming world these days, we, we, we walk a thin line, a fine line between what's legal and illegal. Uh, and depending on your country, I live in Colombia, there's really no, no, um, benefit to using a VPN for VPN uh, for uh, torrents uh, purposes because torrents are not particularly illegal here. There are other reasons to be using a VPN, obviously privacy. Uh, you don't want your ISP throttling you. Uh, like I said, I'll go ahead and put uh, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and grab that VPN offer. 57% off. I mean, you can't beat that. The, it's, it's just a few dollars a month. I suggest go ahead and knock it out for a year or two and you don't ever ever have to worry. You get, uh, I think it's up to 12 devices you can connect. So every tablet, every phone you have, every device you have in your house, you can even share the account with someone else. It just doesn't make any sense not to have one. So go ahead and buy one um, and I'll put the link below. So if you enable the torrents, that's gonna open up tons and tons of very high quality content. Uh, the other, um, the other setting I like to change is autoplay. Now, this will make more sense to you as uh, this will make more sense to you as time as I show you what the play screen looks like. But uh, I won't enable this now because I want to show you how to select the stream on your own. But just uh, 
understand that when you select autoplay for movies or for TV shows, what happens is when you click on the movie, you don't really have to do anything else. You just click on the movie, it goes ahead and selects the best stream and plays it automatically. So I like it, I use it, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I will not. So let's just back on out. Let's go back to the home screen now. And you see we have movies, uh, TV shows, downloads, again. So let's go to movies. Now in here, it's, to be honest, there are just not as many uh, ways of sorting the uh, the movies as as I would like. There's not a, a way to sort by genre and stuff, but you can go in by trending, and you can also search. And if you search, uh, virtually every movie is available to be streamed, just like uh, the other applications that I talk about. So let's just go in here. For instance, let's just say you want to watch this movie here. And when you click on it, you'll see that you uh, you see the description on the left, and it will start searching on the right for all the sources that are available. Now you can see at the top there's a little uh, a little progress circle there, like a progress bar. It says generating links. Uh, torrents, since torrents are the best source, you'll see those almost immediately. Uh, and 99% uh, of the time, I'm sure that if you if you had used autoplay at this point, it would have already been uh, buffering that torrent and getting it ready to play because uh, the torrents are the best sources. Uh, at this point, since I didn't choose autoplay, you'll see that uh, the links come up on the right. There are some uh, different uh, sources. So let's just click on torrents. See, there's 14 torrents already that it found. And you can see that the torrents are sorted. Uh, it may not seem like they're in any order uh, particularly. Sorry. But they are, they do go by file size generally and then by uh, 1080p, 720p. You see there are a lot. I will not start playing the movie because of copyright. I don't want uh, YouTube getting mad at me. But if you select one, it will play, and it will play in the it will play in the uh, in the resolution that you choose. Obviously, like I said, if you had chosen autoplay, there was nothing else to do. You you wouldn't even see uh, all these uh, sources on the right. You would not see any of them. They would just you'd be watching the movie by now. Very simple to use, Morph TV, popular movies as opposed to trending. Popular is like popular uh, of all time. Uh, so you can see a lot of things in here that are like The Matrix. Obviously these are, are not sorted uh, by the trending. Trending is like what's popular right now in a search. Obviously uh, you can search. Uh, the voice search does not work very well. I, your mileage may vary on that. I won't really even get into that. Uh, but uh, suffice it to say that if you search and you say you just want to, let's just go for instance, Terminator. Terminator. You don't really have to do anything except for click on, you see that some of them, since I just typed in a partial search, uh, Terminator is right there. You click it, the same thing. You'll get the uh, this, this, the links will be generated on the right, and that's it. You can start playing it. So anyway, I hope you guys. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, this video, and I hope that you learned a little bit. And I know you'll enjoy using Morph TV. It's a great application. It is actively developed now. Since Morpheus has been discontinued, uh, you can continue to use Morpheus, although it will continue to degrade as you go on. But Morpheus uh, is actively developed by uh, its developers and updated regularly. So you're, you're gonna really have a great time uh, uh, using Morph and watching TV with Morph. Uh, so that's it for now. Anyway, have a great day and check the links below and please like uh, my channel and subscribe and uh, have a great day.